All right, guys. So we just got off the water. Um, we came out here to catfish to see what kind of catfish we could get on Tolaco. We got 12. And uh, we, we did pretty good. All right, so we came out here looking for channels. I know there is a blues in here. I called a blues when I was in flight school. I uh, didn't do very good on channels and blues, but I'll tell you what, we wore the bull heads out. I think we got 12 or we 12 to 15 uh, bull heads. And like I said, we're going to take them home, put them in the bait, make a makeshift bait tank for this tournament this weekend. We're going to use them for flathead bait. And uh, we're going to make this actually a catch and cook. So we're going to fry one up and. What's a catch and cook? Where we catch the fish and then we cook it, but I don't know how we do it. Oh. So we're going to fry one up tomorrow. Stop picking those on the camera. <laughs> and we'll let you guys know how it tastes. So, like I said in the video, you'll hear me say I've never caught a bullhead before until tonight. And uh, from what I can tell online, I think they're a spotted bullhead. Uh, they're, they're nice sized bullhead. They're, they're big. They're not like what I see the little yellow bullhead. Uh, so, it's going to be a big flathead that has to eat it. That's what we want as a big fish anyway. So, we're going to try it. Uh, all we did was use Carolina bricks. I brought my old jinkity pose. I brought some tigers from Walmart that you get for like 19 bucks and then I brought my uh... You got it for 19 Yeah. And then I brought my three ugly sticks that I used for channel catfish out in Kansas. Um, and two rhinos. And you know, they got some cheap reels and stuff on it. So it just goes to show you, you don't have to have big expensive rods. I got my thing on catfish rods at the house right now. You know. Uh, but let me finish please. <laughs> Kids got a little man, they're a handful. Anyhow, I hope you guys like this video. Wyatt wants to say something, and then we're going to let you get to watch it. You don't need all that fancy stuff to be good for you. That's right. Yeah. So, just a simple Carolina rig with uh, some Eagle Paw uh, number four laser hooks or something like that. They're circle hooks. So, nothing fancy tonight. It's just uh, the old tackle we have. We just want to come out and explore a little bit see yeah. if there's any fish here. Also, I will say for this, for you guys that fish Sulaco, there is a definite thermal pine out there right now, and it's right around 19 feet. So every fish we caught, we caught in about uh, about 10 to right around 10 foot of water. So just remember, if you guys come out here and you go fishing up against the dam here, it gets pretty deep right now, and uh, you want to go someplace else where it's a little bit shallower, because there's not going to be any fish down there below that thermal pine, so there's no water there, there's no oxygen there from the breeze. So anyhow. It's uh, 9.30, so I'm going to get him home, get him a shower. I'm going to get me some dinner. He ate dinner on the boat, and we're going to get in bed. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I don't think we have yeah, he's on there. He ain't big. Just keep your tip up and real. Look at there. Oh, what is it? Is that a bullhead or a little flathead? I don't know. That's a little bullhead. Are those rare? Well, I mean, actually, he's a pretty, a pretty big bullhead. But I tell you what, we're gonna do. We're gonna put him in the live well and keep him for bait. They like that? That's the first bullhead I've ever caught. For real, in your life? Yeah. All right. Well, he's gonna go in the live well, and we'll keep him for bait for the tournament. Yeah, here, touch him. No. It's not. Look. It's the sides. Of, I showed you what hurt, where they hurt. That's a big old bullhead. Alright, he's going in the lava. I'll point it at the lava. There you go. I hope it's another bullhead. It is another bullhead. It is? Mm -hmm. Are those bad? No, oh, these are going to be a uh, big old flathead bait. Oh, cool. We still have our bait, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna pet him real quick. I'm gonna pet his belly. Boy, drop. Whoa, he's so like, he's so gummy like, you know that? He's like, he feels like a just, just gummy bear. Yeah, we're gonna put him whole on the hook. I'll pick that up. Just keep, it, keep your line tired so he don't get off. Found out where the bullheads are at. Well, it may not be a bullhead. Yeah. He's 
staying down. Yeah. What? Another bullhead. Oh, he's so good. Why isn't it working? Because I got the drag set. Is that a close one? Yeah. There you go. Here, take over while I'm looking. Be, be slow with the camera. Keep it steady. I'm aiming at the fish. Woo! I'm bad at filming. <laughs> what is his mouth? Like a flathead, but not quite. Let me touch his antenna. We got two other ones. Oh. Ah! Stupid fish. Yep. Let me get that water off. Alright guys, so came out here just to do a little bit of small catfishing. But we found some bullheads. We got a tournament on Saturday. Do they taste good? So I don't know, an area bullhead, I guess. I guess people eat them. But I don't know. If you guys ate bullhead and are good to eat, and let me know. I know they're great catfish bait for flatheads, so we'll see. Subscribe. That's right, subscribe if you haven't. Alright, let's get these back out, see if we can catch snow. Got one? Heather's I'm super bummed. So we just caught a uh, seven pound channel and a bullhead. We doubled up. Uh, told why I turned the camera on. I guess the camera was already on. So he shut it off. So we don't have anything. So we just got a uh, another bullhead and a seven pound channel. Um, it's okay. It happens. Part of fishing, part of recording. We'll have the memories in our head and that's all that matters. So now we're going to get set up and get ready for another one. Got to get these two poles back in the water. Camera is on this time. I set it up. What do you think it is? Get over here to the right so we can get the camera. What do you got? Another bullhead. Get him in. It's okay. Uh, well, this is what we're out here to catch. But that. Yep. Oh, dang. About did. Did you only get three shed left, tiny, so we gotta make it last. I wish we would have had that big seven pounder on film, but it's all right. Here's another bullhead. Do what name? Got the camera on? It's red. Ford. Is it always Ford? Yep. Charge right. to the power button. You see that look? Is that it? Get the net. Oh, yeah, that's another nice channel. 
This might be the same one, Ben. Yeah, it does, the same one. Just hold him right there. Yep. Oh, Dad, look at his jaw. Yeah, solid. Dad. He's missing half of his jaw. All right, give me the jaw pull. I think someone whipped it off. So this fish here, guys, <laughs> I don't really know how we caught him. He don't have half of a mile. That's freaky. That's bad, Dad. But he ain't had no problem eating. Where's the... Uh, Where's the... Let me do it. Oh, I got it. He's where, too? Here, show him the jaw. I will. So check this guy out. You talk, talk about door bite. If you guys ever watch Bill Engvall talk about the dork fish, we're getting another bite back here right now. So it's another nice channel. Let's see here. That one? Yeah, go real, real fast. Real, real fast. Don't pick it up. Just real. Just real. Real, 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 real. Is he on there? <laughs> I wish we would have brought another pack of fish. Well, we might go catch some more shad if we need to. Nope. Yeah. We got this thing so far out. I think this one's another little bullhead. Yeah, it is. Alright, get him in the boat. Pick him up by the where the yellow string is. There you go. All right, bring him back here. Let's get a weight on this guy real quick. Don't tell him where this spot is, okay? Woo! He ain't going nowhere. I think he broke the hook. All right, this one's 5.3. But, I don't know. He's a weird looking fish. You gotta check this out. You yeah. see that? You got the line tangle. This is really hooked. Not as big as that 7 pounder was, but at least they're in here. Well, I will slap this in. Take a look at White's bullhead here. I'm not picking that thing up. Be Another nice little bullhead. Hit that switch on that light. Like that? Yep. That fish knows he's done for. Except if he's a. Okay. Oh, we got like 10 now, probably. Another oh, bullhead, folks. And we're going to keep her bait. We're going to run low on bait. Hi, bait. Alright, good. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Yep. Don't reel it super fast, bud. Just reel it normal. Watch what you're doing so you keep it out of the line. Alright, there you go. Take him up, get him in the boat. There you go. Man, I was wondering about that. Yeah. We kept more bullheads than what we planned. I still got five in there. What, well, not what I planned, but what I should. Uh, I had two down on me last night. I got five in here and still five in there. And uh, I just have too many fish for my small bait tank, so they ain't gonna be able to keep up. So I'm gonna clean up, play up five of these bullheads. We're gonna fry one up to try it, and then uh, we'll save the rest for another day. So I don't know a whole lot about bullheads. Like I said, these are the first ones I've ever caught, so I'm going to treat them as I would a catfish. You know, like a channel or a blue or flathead. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to snap their tail so I can bleed them. Well, I need a new pair right, so Just let them bleed now.
runoff is actually right here in front of my house, so I get everybody's water runoff. Hey, how I find out it's just easier just go down there and uh, spray spray my board off and then be done with it. So I've got everything out and ready for me. I got a, a bowl of ice cold water. I got my fork. I got my uh, Rapala. I got two forks. Um, I think this is the heavy duty one. It worked really good. And I got my trash bag obviously to put the leftovers in. So I'll get one out of here. And I'm just going to. I'm going to bring the camera over here just a little bit closer so you can see real well how, how I do it. So there's a, a bone right here in the catfish. So I just kind of come in right behind it. All the cage down. Bring my knife out. And go straight through it. And like I said, here we'll cut some of the shoulder meat out of this one. This one's a little bit bigger one. See, it's not really worth messing with on these little fish. But uh, if you had a big, you know, five pound blue cat or something, that's a pretty good sized nugget. So, like I said, we'll just bring this here. Uh, with this tail still on it, works pretty nice. Let the knife do its thing. I'm not rushing it. Let the knife cut. And like I said, we got to get this red meat off. Slider line out. Tried a lot, kind of. We got a lot more tummy. Use our fork, just pinch the tail. Alright guys, so I'm going to finish these other ones up, and then I'll bring the camera back on here in just a minute. Alright guys, so this next part is very important. you got to clean your fish well, make them taste well. That's done. You got them pretty, pretty white. What we'll do is we'll fill this up. And I like to use kosher salt. It. Well, it's going to draw the blood out of the meat. Oh. Stir it up. I'm right here going to 
wash my hands before I go get in the cabinet because I know Heather will watch this video and she'll get me. Now we're going to put it dry off the bottom. And we're going to set it in the fridge. Okay guys, so I was on soaking in salt water for about an hour. Got uh, my favorite uh, seasoning. I used to make my own. And then I found this uh, Louisiana Crispy uh, Fish Fry. And since I found this, I don't make my own anymore. I absolutely love this seasoning. Super cheap, it's like 99 cents a pack. You can get it anywhere. So we got our four little pieces here. We're gonna fry fish, peanut oil. And uh, since it's just four little pieces, I just got my little pan. Now, my wife don't let me fry stuff in the house and she's not home, so I thought about frying it in the house, but I'm worried about the smell and uh, getting caught. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take this stuff outside. I'm gonna fry up the fire up the little fish burner out back and uh, get these in. Once I get outside, get everything set up, turn the camera back on. All right, it is hot. It is dead smack middle of noon here in South Alabama, and there's no shade anywhere. Said there's only four little pieces I'm frying up. There should be more than enough oil. Now we just wait and let her heat up. Alright, so the way I like to test to see if it's hot is just take a little bit of the batter. Oh yeah. I'm actually gonna turn it down just a little bit. Alright, here we go. First half of a play. guys shut this off and they're good to go all right so that right there would be one one bullhead uh, like I said the way I cut the flays so we'll let this cool down let's take these inside Get ready to try them out and then we'll come out and uh or we'll eat them inside obviously. Both of the kids are out cold. What? Oh, oh woke them up. Alright, so we'll some here on the small table. Alright, buddy. Come over here and let's try that one. Oh, it's done? Yep. Oh, it's done? Yeah. Just a couple seconds. Alright, don't grill them yet. They're going to be super hot. Yeah. This is not I'm going to do it in ketchup. Alright. 
But uh, can't go wrong with some hot sauce. You are right, just writing is good. Pretty good. Got, that one you got a little bit burnt with your hands. This one? Yeah, that ink. Put a little bit of hot sauce on here. That one's ash and fish. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. More of that. I just a bit. Except for once he actually likes fish. I don't, I don't have a fishy flavor at all. So, the meat's pretty flaky. Is that good? Yeah, so you guys can see it here. Super hot. Who wants to see people eat it? It's kind of a little bit on the gooey side, but. What is it, undercooked? No, it's just the texture of the fish. Oh. It's not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. It is good. Now, like I said, I'm I'm a textured person whenever it comes to fish. And it's a little bit on the gooey side. For me, I like a nice firm fish. That's why I like bluegill and crappie the most and walleye. Because they get that, you know, nice firm texture. But yeah. Not bad. Like I I compare it just right up here with any other catfish. Same as a, a channel or a blue. No, but, but well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't worry, don't don't worry about my hair and my hair and all that good stuff. Cause we're still scrubbed. We're about to get up to get our day started and go with the gun range. Thanks for liking. If you, uh, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe for videos in the future. And give us a thumbs up. Thanks, guys. No, but they seem jolly. Now uh, you want to show jolly real quick? This is jolly. Jolly set. Little girl, give me your paw. Jolly, paw. Little girl. Jolly, lay. Lay. Little girl. <laughs> I like to narrow the meat. Alright, she finally listens to her once in a while. She's a really good dog. She listens really well. She used to be a great hunter, believe it or not. But after all my deployments, uh, we're staying at home with just her mom. She's become my 60 pound lap dog now. But she's a great pet, great dog. Alright, guys.